Hi, I'm Chris with Gratitude Space, and we are in Covington, Kentucky. I don't know why I can't say that today. Um, and I'm with my new friend, Amy. Amy, could you say hi? Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay, Amy, could you tell the people where we're at? Sure. So we're at the Baker Hunt Art and Cultural Center in Covington. Um, we are a community art school that serves the region. We have students who come from all over the place. We've got four-year-olds um, all the way up through the ages. So we, uh, we offer a little bit of everything, visual arts, dance, culinary arts, uh, gardening, you name it. So, and how many students on average do you guys flow through here every year? We have over 3,200 students coming through every year and that, that's something that is changing and growing each year. And uh, how old is this space? It's almost, well the space itself, gosh, we, we've been around as an art center for 94 years and the mm -hmm. space has been here for far before that, so uh, at least 120 years of okay. time here on yeah. this, this land. So, so Amy gave me a tour and this is a really cool place, so if you guys are around you should totally check it out and I, I'm looking forward to coming back here. And we discussed possibly having some, some people here work on Gratitude New York, so I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Now that we've gotten all out of the way, Amy, if you could just share with us one person in your life and just give us a couple reasons why you care and you are grateful for them. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> um, so there are a lot of people I'm really grateful for. It's very hard, I'm sure you hear this all the time, to choose one. Um, but the person who is coming to mind right in this moment would be my grandma Tuttle. And she, she has passed away, but she, I am so grateful for mm. her and the impact that she had on my life because she taught me a couple of really important things. She taught me um, how, to, how to have grace from day to day. So she taught me a lot about this, this idea of like grace and ease and um, just flowing into things and, and being forgiving. Um, and then she also taught me um, that, that I didn't have to, um, that I didn't really have to move in any direction that didn't feel like completely authentic. So even though she came from a generation where I think um, she didn't necessarily have that same benefit. She offered mm. that all the time to say like, hey, look, you get to make all of your own choices all of the time. And, and she really empowered me in that way. So yeah, I'm so grateful for her. It was really beautiful. <laughs> yeah, to empower you to be you because yeah. she loved you and she wanted you to be you. That's yeah, exactly. lovely. And it's... Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, I'm Chris with Amy saying stay grateful.